how's it going everyone and um, this is just a quick video to show you how I clean my small tanks um, everyone is different everyone has their own way of doing it I just wanted to show you my way of doing it um, this is my 27 litre tank um, which is going to be um, a shrimp tank it's been on a, a long cycling process until I can afford to put the shrimp in there I've, I've got a couple of uh, Amano shrimp in there and a couple of Ottos to help um, with any algae problems first thing you want to get yourself is a toothbrush um, this is an old toothbrush that I've scrubbed up um, to make sure that there's no toothpaste left on it at all the last thing you want is to be getting toothpaste into your tank um, so preferably try and get yourself a nice new toothbrush with long and short bristles um, don't get yourself a nice flat one get yourself um, one with uh, bristles on it um, that are maybe long at the front will just help you down by the substrate the next thing I use is a um, glass cleaning pad. Um, you can get two different types. You can get the glass cleaning ones and you can get the acrylic cleaning pads. Um, this is a glass one. Um, I don't use this for the main um, volume of glass. I just use it for small areas like uh, my little glass ledge that I've got on there. Next thing you want to get yourself is some screen wipes. Um, these are perfect for cleaning the outside of your tank. You don't want to be spraying aerosols around it because um, that would just pollute the water and can kill your fish and shrimp. Um, so yeah, very cheap. You can pick them up anywhere. They're, they're used for cleaning computer monitors and TVs, that sort of thing. Um, you also want to get yourself a nice soft cloth for after you've used the uh, screen wipes. Um, just allows you to polish up the outside of the glass nicely, make it looking crystal clear um, and allow you to enjoy your uh, your fish. Get yourself a nice long pair of tweezers um, for when you do your water change. Um, it just allows you to pick stuff up without getting your hands too wet. Um, the, this pair is actually 250 millimeters long so I can get right down to the bottom without getting my hands wet at all. You also want to get yourself a pair of scissors, um, preferably with a, a curve or an angle at the bottom just so you can you can get in there um, and trim the plants nicely where you want to. Right, first I use a toothbrush um, and I just go over the inside of the glass with the toothbrush. Um, it removes any um, uh, small bit of algae that's, that might be on there. Um, you, sometimes you get like a, a build up, a, a film build up on the inside of your tank. Well, it just removes it for you. Um, easy to use, very quick. I haven't got to worry at all about disturbing plants, hardscape, um, anything in there. You can get into all the nooks and crannies behind um, any bushes you've got in there. Like if I wanted to go behind the um, the health area I've got in there, um, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, I won't be pulling it around, won't be disturbing it. Then I get my pad and I, as I say, I use this mainly for the ledge. Um, because you get obviously water staining um, on glass so I just use it to clean the ledge um, and I, I don't have to worry then that's all all nice and clean then the next thing I do is I get my screen wipes take out a few of the wipes just open it up and just clean the outside of the tank not spraying anything near it there's nothing going in the water nothing going remotely near the water so I don't have to worry about my fish then I just take my uh, dry polishing cloth and just go over the outside of the tank There you go, all nicely uh, polished up, crystal clear. The other good thing that the wipes are, are perfect for are for cleaning the tops of your lights, um, even the underneath, just in case you've got a bit of water staining on the bottom, the wipes are perfect. Um, and again, for the uh, for your um, hang-on filters, you can just clean the outside of the hang-on filters with it, no problem at all. Um, you're not going to cause any problems for the fish or shrimp. 
when you go to do the water change if you've got sand in the bottom or even um, with other substrates a good little tip is to get the forceps and to actually just prod the sand at the bottom what this does it releases any gases that are building up underneath the, uh, the sand um, and you, you're not going to poison your fish with any of the gases you're just going to release it um, so you won't get any big build ups when I go to do my water changes in here what I do is I use the forceps just to stir the surface of the sand and substrate around just slightly just agitate it a little bit that will just free up any of the uh, the shrimp or fish poo or anything else that's uh, gone in there like food waste um, and then when you've got your hose in there um, I use a very small thin hose initially uh, I just waft it over the bottom of the sand um, just staying away from the sand slightly so you don't suck that up and it just draws up any of the any of the crap um, and then obviously I do my 50% water change seeing as it's a planted tank um, just to remove any of the crap out of the water um, and then top it back up making sure I, I use um, some tap safe in there um, to break down any uh, any additives that come in the tap water so yeah I hope uh, I hope you found that a little bit interesting at least and um, that's just the way that I do things I say everyone has their own way of doing things um, and that's the way that I find cleaning my tank is quick um, and efficient um, and just allows me to get endless pleasure out um, of my tank when the glass is crystal clear as you can see that's taken me what I don't know five minutes to do something like that um, so it's not going to take you long at all to clean the whole of the inside of your tank um, you can use the toothbrush to clean the rocks and everything as well um, just for any diatoms that are built up um, you can clean your, your wood with it um, you're not going to pull stuff around so, but thank you very much for watching um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video um, thank you very much